The law of osmosis also applies to your advantage. The law of osmosis or the osmotic force states that the weaker solution is absorbed by the stronger solution. And I want to let you know that you are a constituent of the strongest solution on the face of the earth. Amen? Amen? And that solution is the blood of Jesus. That's why the Bible says you are born of the incorruptible seed. Amen? Amen. Incorruptible seed. There are three things that bear witness. One of them is the spirit, the word, water, and the blood. I am born of the incorruptible seed of God. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am redeemed by the blood that was spotless of any sin. Hence, has the greatest potency in spiritual activity. Because the strength of every covenant depends on the purity of the blood used. And the blood of Jesus is the purest blood. Say amen. That's who, that's who I am made of. Do you know when the blood of Jesus dropped the earth, dropped on the face of the earth, the osmotic force of nature from even the underground ocean, from all the aquifer layers, wanted to suck in the blood. But they could not because the blood of Jesus was pulling all the osmotic force from that one point. And there was a mighty earthquake. The earth could not handle it. They cannot absorb the blood that flew from Emmanuel's veil. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. That is the blood that runs in your vein. That is the blood you are made of. That is the blood that when the enemy sees, he saw it in the Old Testament, he passed. What about today? When I see the blood, I will pass over you. That's the blood he saw and ran. Who told you that the potency has changed his power? The, the song says that the blood of Jesus has not lost his power. That same blood is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That blood has no reduced in content. It is only one drop that landed on earth. That's still what we are using. The blood has not expired. The blood has not caked. The blood has not congealed. The agglutinin and the agglutinogens are still constant. Am I still communicating? <laughs> Nothing has changed. The homoblobin content of that blood is still curative till today. Say amen in the house of God. That is the blood I'm made of. That is the blood that runs in my vein. It's not different from the blood that runs in Jesus' vein. It is that same blood. That's why when you touch me, God is touched. When the church was touched, God spoke and rebuked Paul and said to Paul, who are you to, to confront me? He thought he was dealing with the body of Christ. He said, ah, is it not the church? He said, shut up. It's not the church. I am that whom you persecuted. When you touch them, you have touched me. Say amen in the house. Because is the blood. They are my blood. Say amen. amen. They are my blood. Now, the, the Bible tells us in Acts of Apostles, take heed of the flock whom God hath made you overseer, whom he has redeemed with his say own. Say it again. God is saying, I redeemed you not with the blood of Jesus. I redeemed you with my own blood. Am I communicating? I redeemed you with what? Because why the emphasis? Whom, why, why didn't he say whom I have redeemed with the blood? He said whom I have redeemed with my own blood. Because he fathered Jesus. The blood of every child is the blood of the father, not the blood of the mother. The mother is only 
you're an incubator. It's only a gateway. When you want to check the blood genotype, the resus factor, the whatever, you check it from the blood of the man. Am I communicating? So because God fathered Jesus, that's why the blood of Jesus is the blood of God. And do you... <laughs> The, the, the life of every flesh is in the blood, which means the life of God is in his blood. So when you say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus, what you are saying is, I cover myself with the life of God. And when you are covered with the life of God, the devil can't touch it. He respects his boundary. I am a winner. I'm not a loser. I am what God says I am. I am what God says I am. We hope you've been blessed by the word. For counseling and more information, please visit number 12, Dr. Fashion Street, Okota, Lagos. You can also call 0906-833-5605. We hope to hear from you. God bless you.